everyone and welcome to our touch base thursday for july 7th i have been calling it june all day today so um i don't know why but somewhere i must have lost an entire month um but anyway welcome to our um our uh, thursday time together on our touch base thursday um for july 7th um hope you all had a wonderful fourth weekend um Gonna give it a minute here. Hi, Carol. Welcome, welcome. Um, I had a wonderful Fourth of July weekend. I decided to take a surprise trip or a last minute trip to visit my mom. Um, left the girls here and they hung out with um, my son Matt and Nicole, um, my daughter-in-law and Chloe. And I went to my mom's and hung out with her for three days. So it was kind of nice um, to just get away and enjoy some time with my mom that way. So um, anyway. Hello to Patty and Peggy. Um, who else do we have on here? And Courtney. Oh, you're getting storms, right? It's been kind of gloomy out here all day, but no rain in the forecast, but we need rain. We truly need some rain here in Michigan. Um, hello to Donna. So welcome as you're all popping on. This I've determined is my Thursday shirt. So true story. As I was looking through my Facebook Live from last week, which I'm I'm sorry I never got a chance to edit it before I left to go to my mom. So I promise you tonight's will get edited with some links and information that I'll be talking to you about. Um, but when I was look, looking at all of the shared comments to do my drawing for the shared comp, the shared um, uh, drawing, I realized that I had this shirt on last Thursday. And so I just chuckled and I went, huh. This might become my new Thursday shirt. So anyway, you get the same shirt two day, two weeks in a row. But anyway, um, has been washed in between there. I will tell you that. Uh, anyway, I just thought it was kind of funny um, when I was doing that and went, well, I'm not changing my shirt. So you guys get me twice in the same shirt. I am. Anyway, a few things we have in the way of announcements. This one is the one that I'm so excited to tell you. We have success with a cello for Claire. So I think I mentioned that we had the company out of Chicago finally ship us one. And tonight, um, her, her lesson was tonight at 430. And so her professor came over to give her her lesson, evaluate the cello, um, picked out which bow because they sent um, two or three different bows for us to pick out. Um, he picked out the one that was best for her to use um, that would give the better sound. And so success, we have a cello for this girl of mine. So, so excited. Not a cheap endeavor for us, but she needs it. And she's serious about wanting to play. And she's um, serious about wanting that to be what she goes to school for in college. So I'm um, excited that this worked out for her and that we have a cello for her. So anyway, that is our big exciting news. Hot off the press from um, talking with her professor who um, sat there and played on it for like a good 15 minutes before he even started her lesson. So anyway and then this week she leaves for um, a cello camp so it's actually her professor um her professor who is running the camp and it's um down down in the detroit area she'll be leaving on monday and comes back i think on thursday and it's a uh, they play music from sun up till sundown so she already has her her music pieces but it's i actually put on by her professor who gives her lessons so um i know that he's given her a few hard classes or a few hard um, ones to play to push her outside of her limit and then tonight he told her that she's making her take the master class with a person he has coming in so anyway she didn't want to do the master class and he didn't give her a choice I kind of like that though he just kind of tells her nope you're doing it and she's like okay so anyway um he's just a wonderful wonderful um, professor we are just so blessed that he is who is providing lessons to her and um, you can just tell he's got a passion for working with kids so anyway excited I know isn't that great news you guys I'm so excited it's gone, kind of been a long time in the making for us to be able to secure this for her. Not easy finding a 7 8 cello because um, she needed to have a little bit of a smaller one for her smaller body size. So anyway, but yeah, so she'll be leaving for camp and uh, those are, there, there's a concert on um, Wednesday that we get to come to. Oh, I think they come back Wednesday night. So Wednesday night there's a concert that we get to go and see before we come back. So I'm sure I'll be taking some video of that. Um, but anyway, so that's my big news. And like I said, the fourth weekend, we ended up going, I ended up going to my mom's, just me. So it was just me at my mom's. We had some really good times. Took my mom to a, a winery over there and we did some wine tasting with my brother and her and I. And so yeah, it was really, really fun. 
So now it's though back to the real world and back to getting back into my normal routine. So just so all of you know, if you've purchased from my online BOGO sale, um, all of the orders that you've given me have gone in. Um, that if there's only like a handful of people I'm still working with, um, your stuff will ship out probably on Saturday. So we will fly bugging me. Um, it's in boxes. We just got to package it up and get it shipped out and, and um, but that will be coming. So an announcement about my um, my BOGO sale. My online BOGO sale will be ending tomorrow afternoon. I need my garage back. So I'm picking up everything tomorrow night. Um, I've been parking my car outside. When you're not used to that, creature of habit, we walk to the garage and I go, oh, got to go back out and around. It's not in there. Um, but I also wanted to announce any of you that are local to Mount Pleasant area, if you are interested in coming to my BOGO sale in person, um, you may do that um, tomorrow morning. I will be um, here um, between 9 and noon for anybody who might want to um, come and uh, if you're local, um, look um, for that um, or look through the sale before it goes um, gets put away. Okay, so um, but it'll be done done by about four o'clock tomorrow and we'll be putting everything away. So that's kind of the last call for my BOGO sale. And what else do I have here? Oh, well, we'll eventually do our sharing. I know you guys want to know who won. Uh, but I also wanted to let you know about my product share, my designer series paper product share. I have a product share. I need to fill it. I think I need two more people. Um, I have my product share. It's all of the new um, holiday or the new holiday catalog um, d designer series paper and specialty paper. So any paper in there, you will get a quarter of a pack. The cost I think is $57. Um, registration link's been posted, but I do have a couple spots left that I want to get filled for that. And um, that will get ordered here this week and then it will go out in about a week or so for those of you that already um, signed up for that. Um, and then some new tutorials will be added to my online tutorial store this weekend. Uh, I'll have about five or six new ones going out there. One is a hippo happiness class that's going to be coming out. Um, all of my July classes, the tutorials will be out there. Now, if you purchase the class, though, the tutorial is free. So don't be don't go out and buy the tutorial if you're going to be doing the class because then you'll get the tutorial um, for free. But um, the classes that I have are Abigail Rose, um, Swedish Christmas and Happy Hippos. So those are my three classes for in person and uh, excuse me, online for the month of July. And registration has opened. If you're on my email list, you've already gotten those emailed to you. They'll be getting posted to my Facebook page here over the next um, few days as well. So celebration is going strong. So um, if you haven't already seen our little celebration flyer, this is my Kim's Basement Facebook live copy but lots of awesome things in the celebration flyer so i'll be doing a class with those cute little hippos so if that's a class that you like you'll be able to get your hands on that um and do, 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 let me see here why don't we do our sharing real quick and then i'm going to talk to you about my projects for tonight because you're gonna this is i did something that i don't normally do for facebook lives okay so anyway last week i announced two prizes up for grabs one was the classic matte dots and the other one was this gorgeous white ribbon. It's the organdy glittered white ribbon. And we have I the two winners are so the winner of the classic matte dots is Beth Merkel. So congratulations to Beth. And then the winner of the ribbon, and I'm hoping I don't slaughter this last name, but Cindy, you're gonna need to message me. I'm not sure if I have your address. Cindy Stacalosa. I'm hoping I said that right. Stackalosa, Cindy Stackalosa. So Cindy, um, please message me your um, your address and I will get that in the mail to you. Um, Beth, I do have yours, so we are all set there. Um, up for grabs next week, we have elegant faceted gems and we have some um, white ribbon. So I just went to the cabinet and grabbed two things real quick because that was right before I went live with all of you. Um, okay, so... I, I lost a day with the 4th of July holiday, right? So I came back from my mom's on Sunday. Um, oh, good, Shelby. Shelby knows her. All right. So I'm glad I did that right. So anyway, I came back from my mom's on Sunday. 
And so my day to get things done for the house, like meal prep and groceries and all that was on the 4th of July. Well, when I went to work on Tuesday, I'm thinking it's Monday. So my plan was to, what I was going to showcase for all of you um, tonight was the Splendid Day Bundle. It's a gorgeous bundle. I designed some really fun projects and a 3D project for that. And then I realized, oh shoot, I can't do that one because we're doing that for my um, one of my um, for the my team meeting. We're doing that, and Jen, who does all of my cutting, I told her to take all this stuff to her house over the fourth weekend to prep that class for me, and I haven't seen her to get any of that back from her. And then I went, oh, and I didn't cut my extra kit. Like I had nothing ready for you guys other than that's what I was planning to do. And then I went, well, I. I'm already on Wednesday and I haven't even advertised my uh, Facebook Live, which is not like me. That's normally advertised for all of you on Monday or Tuesday. So anyway, I went to my repository of what I had and what I thought, hmm, what can I quickly create? So literally last night at 9 o'clock, now normally I do do my 3D project last minute, but last night, 9 o'clock, I designed what you're going to be seeing tonight. Night. And that is something I never do with my entire Facebook Live. Like I have them planned out for the entire month and I have the kits prepped other than my 3D project. Everything is prepped and sitting there. So you're probably going to get Splendid Day next week, I think is what I did with that one, um, which will be nice because the prep work's all done already. <laughs> um, but yeah, so what you're seeing tonight is hot off the press. I mean, literally from 9 until 1030, took me an hour and a half to create what you're going to be seeing. I did not take the time to do any of the stamping on my second project, though. So we're going to stamp together. You're going to see me actually doing some stamping. So it might take me a little bit longer. If we don't get through them all, it's okay. Um, I do still have five cards in a 3D project that I'll be sharing with you. Um, this will also be a class because nothing that I designed do I not share as a class as an option for all of you. So this, um, what you're going to be seeing, will be offered as a class probably in the next month or so, and it will include the bundle. So if you don't have the bundle yet, this would be a really good way for you to get the bundle and then enjoy a class that you can make with it um, that I literally came up with last night so all right with that um and that's why i chose the scotty dog bundle i thought i could easily create some really fun and simple cards with this one and i hope that you enjoy them as much as i had fun creating them all right so with that i'm going to transition my camera down to my stamp area i do think i went over everything with all of you that i had to share and let me have you get you a sneak peek of what i've created and let's have some fun okay so this is what I've come up with. Like I said, it was kind of a, a last minute, um, nine o'clock last night as I'm coming down to set up and went, uh-oh. <laughs> All right, so here's your little sneak peek, kind of, sort of. So you're gonna see some little tips and tricks and techniques and things that I'm gonna be sharing with you here in just a couple minutes. Um, but again, this is everything that I came up with last night for you. Um, I'm going to move them all out of the way now, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. Aren't they cute? I need to adjust my computer a little bit. I have a glare, and I want to be able to see you guys, okay, in all my comments. There we go. Okay, so what I chose last minute was the Scotty Dogs Bundle, or the Christmas Scotty. So you have a stamp set, an awesome stamp set, and coordinating punch, and the punch will punch out this dog right here and this little... um um bow okay and this together sells for 36.75 you get both of them together um lumped with a 10 percent discount in there and um that is what i used i really it had a lot of fun you're gonna see tonight that i had a lot of fun with this um big stamp right here because i did different things with that at first when i saw it i was like hmm what am i gonna do with that but you'll see it turned out really really cute Okay, so first off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off, I think, with my cute little 3D project. Um, and I know that I've showcased before how to color this ribbon. Um, all of my projects for tonight, I chose to use the black and white gingham ribbon and some of the real red rhinestones. So with this class, you would it would include the product here as well. I don't have it figured out in price just yet, but again, you'll be seeing it open here shortly. Um, and we made I made this cute little 3D box that I'm gonna show you how I did. Um, and it's just, it's so simple and um, 
colored the ribbon, so you're going to see me color the ribbon again. The paper that I used on a good portion of my cards for tonight is the perfectly penciled paper from the annual catalog. And it is the black and white paper that is in our annual catalog. Some of it's flowered themed on one side. And on the other side, you have like polka dots and stripes and things like that. So that is what you're going to see me using on all of my projects here tonight, okay? Now let me get my measurements. I will also provide the measurements for this 3D project in the description of the video. So you'll be able to make this cute little bag, all right? So the first thing that you're gonna need is a piece of cardstock that is four by two and a half. This is just four by two and a half. And then what I did is I scored it at a half of an inch on all four sides. And then you're gonna need a piece of designer series paper that is nine and a half by three and a half. This is not scored at all. The only thing scored is the little piece of cardstock right here, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to get some scissors. Oops, I need to get a pair of scissors. Let me grab them one second and I will get some scissors. Okay, Whew. so I'm just going to cut up to the first little line on here. And I do the little miter cutting thing where you just kind of cut a little bit of it out here. So I'm just gonna do that. So basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna make a little tray, okay? It's just gonna make a little tray on the bottom for our bag. So again, just kind of cutting up to that first half of an inch score line I created. Again, it's just scored on all four sides at a half of an inch. All right, and I'm gonna get those little things out of the way. And now we're just gonna fold all of these up, okay? So, and if you wanna, you can get a really good crisp fold and use your bone folder. Um, in lieu of time, I'm not going to worry about that. But I am going to use my um, sticky strip to secure this down. Hello, Kay. And thank you, Philomena. So I'm just gonna cut and tear little pieces of my, my tear and tape and put them on these little tabs. And I find it easier for me because I have you know big long nails to just rip this off and put it right on there. Thank you, Philomena. These are my fun nails, I guess. My mom called them my silly nails when I was at her house, but that's okay. Moms can do that to us, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna put little um, tabs on there. And then I'm just gonna peel off the backing of these. So I'm just gonna help with a, um, with a, uh, my take your pick tool to get the backings off. But this will secure this really, really good because you don't want this to, to lift. And I think if you were to use regular adhesive, that's what it would do. And this stuff's not as hard to peel off with regular nails, so. Isn't that cute, Kay? I know. I created, like I said, a lot of these projects were created last night, um, literally. And then you're just gonna make your little tray or a little box that's just gonna fold up and you're gonna secure it really good. So you're just gonna fold that little rectangle up and into the box. Nothing too hard so far. Actually, nothing is really hard about this at all, so. Okay. All right, so there we have it, our little tray. So that is the bottom of the bag. You can see that. Oh, you're welcome, Cindy. All right, so there's our little tray. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your um, nine and a half by three and a half piece of designer series paper. I'm gonna move the box out of the way for a minute. And you're just going to add some tear and tape along the bottom edge. So I'm putting it on the edge that I want on the inside. So right on the edge, I'm just gonna line it with this tear and tape. And I'm not the best with tear and tape, so you can see that I tear a lot, which is fine. And then you're gonna also put this on one side. So I'm just gonna put it on this side right here and tear that off as well. Okay, now we're done with the tear and tape, but we had to get all these backings off. So I'm just gonna again use my little paper piercer thingy to lift the tab up so that I can pull it off. Shoot. And this one I got too long, so I'm gonna cut that off. 
Sometimes when you tear it, it sticks to you, and I don't like that, so. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing on this one. I'm gonna use my little thing here to pull this one up. There we go, and peel that one off. All right, so now we have this ready to go, and here's our little tray, remember our little tray, and all we're gonna do is wrap this around here, and I think I may have showcased a similar project. It may have been a little bit bigger, but all we're gonna do is start in the middle here, and we are just going to secure this down around the outer edge. And as you're going around, you're just going to kind of peek, you know, make that little, you don't wanna have it fold all the way up. You're only gonna fold it around this outer little edge tray. And it works when you can hold it a better, when you can hold it a little bit closer to you, but um, again, I'm just folding it around, folding it around, and I actually started this one the wrong way. I should have put this one in first, so I need to put this one in. So bear with me here. I'm gonna lift this one up a little bit because that's the side that has my, my strip of, sticky strip on. And then you're just going to secure this together like that. How cute is that? And then again, if you want to, you can kind of just pinch the corners a little bit to get them to kind of form a little bit better to the tray, but you don't want to take that and go all the way up, okay? But there you have a cute little box. Now you could also take, if you wanted to, um, scissors or a bone folder and make sure that that sticks really good around there. But I think I got it pretty well. All right. And then what I did is I just pinched it together here and using some kind of a paper punch. Um, now I used my um, my Crocodile. This is an oldie but a goodie. I've had this since even before I was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I just put a little um, hole in there. That's where I wrapped my ribbon around. Now what I did to color my ribbon, let me show you that. So and I know I've showcased this before, but what I did, let me bring that back in so you guys can see it. Whoops, you don't wanna see all those people's names. I need to keep this, it's got my measurements on it. Okay, that was people from the BOGO sale. All right, so all I did was take a red um, blend, dark, light, doesn't matter, and you're just going to color it. And like I said, I know I've showcased this before, and it goes right through so you don't have to worry about the other side. Isn't that cool? So you can color this ribbon any color that you would like. And I'm not going to take the time to do the whole thing tonight because literally I just um, put that through there, tied it in a bow. And then for the front to decorate it, what I did is using the layering circles, I cut out a coordinating um, scalloped um, real red with a piece of white. Yes, they are, Courtney. I love the blends. Do I do? I feel that's all I use for coloring anymore. And I just adhered these two together. And then with that awesome punch, so this is a no stamp project. I punched out the little Scotty dog. Look how cute. And I punched out the little red, the little red um, bow. So I'm gonna put the Scotty dog down with some dimensionals. So you'll see tonight that about three or four of my projects are red and black themed. I kind of got stuck on the red and black theme um, just because I just, to me, it just went nice with the Scotty dog. I just like, oh yeah, very nice for gift cards, lottery tickets, all kinds of good things can go in there. And then for the bow, I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive to it. And I put that up by the dog's neck like that. And then the last thing I did was I topped it with one of our real red little gems. Yeah, I should be using my take your pick tool, but the scissors were handy. And then I added this on to, I did use dimensionals, I didn't remember. This was my last project of the night last night. So this one got made about 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> but anyway, um, like I said, I've never ever had nothing ready at nine o'clock at night. I panicked for a minute. And then I went, oh my gosh, do I just cancel? No, these ladies count on me. I can't cancel. And I'm like, I know what I can do. And so anyway, there you have it. From there, you would just put that ribbon through there. If you did not want to close it, you could leave it open and then just not put your um, put your um, hole in there. Put some little shreddy ready stuff in there, the little shreddy stuff with some candy and have it more like a little open basket as well. 
But how cute is that for a quick and simple, easy little gift when you're in a bind and you want something? So again, these um, measurements for this will be put on my, my blog post for tonight, on my Facebook Live, and I'm sure I'll post about it over on my um, in Facebook tomorrow as well. Okay, so that is project number one. Woohoo! I always feel like I'm ready for the rest of the projects once that 3D project is done. <laughs> All right, so my next project that I'm gonna share with you is this one right here. It's what I have on top. Now, like I said, I do not have anything stamped for my, my projects tonight. I have everything on blocks, so we are going to be stamping together. Um, I had a lot of um, glitter. So one of my classes this month is the Sweetest Christmas, which is the candy canes. And I had a lot of the red glimmer paper left from the little six by six pack. So you're gonna see that I chose to use it tonight on a few of my projects because why not? I had it had it done, right? Okay, so this one I wanted to make it um, kind of a Christmas themed card. Now the neat thing is, is with this stamp set, they don't all have to be Christmas themed. Um, you have You Are Always Loved. Um, you do have the Merry Christmas. You have the Mayor Days Be Furry and Bright, which is kind of a, a play on Christmas. But you have one that just says Woof. I mean, you could do whatever you want with these and it would still be really, really cool. So for this one, like I said, we're gonna be doing some stamping. This is the only card tonight that I actually used, um, I'm bringing my mat here tonight, that I actually um, used the other two Scotty dogs. So this one coordinates with the punch, these two do not, okay? So what I did is I just stamped those and I did fussy cut them out. Um, there is no punch or die for them. So let me bring in my black ink. I'm hoping that I grabbed the right black ink that I didn't get the one that is not very inky. We'll see. If not, we're gonna go with it and do the best we can. Okay, so here we have this one. Oh, I, I got a good one, okay. And so that is this dog right here. And then we're going to do the other one. That's the only thing you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure you get a really good coverage because it is a solid stamp and so you don't want it to, um, and you can kind of see through it and be like, oh, that doesn't stamp very good and kind of re-ink where you need it. So I'm just going to stamp that. So there we have some two really good stamped images. I think I'll take them anyway. And we're going to quickly fussy cut those out, okay? So I'll be using that for other stuff. And again, I just kind of went around these. Quick and, you know, easy, nothing too complicated. I like to get rid of some of that excess, get it out of my way. Seems different um, actually stamping with you guys. I, I do that to save time, because I know that I'll never get through everything in an hour if I didn't do it. So like I said, if I don't get through everything tonight, I'll make sure and I sh that I show you everything and you'll be able to see everything. And the, I only used two ink pads on all of tonight's projects. Take that back, I did use um, green on this, but most of what I used is a black and a real red. So that is what I used. Oh, thank you, Philomena. It's my quick and easy, um, I've been fussy cutting though for, sometimes I actually fussy cut things when there's a die for it, if I'm just making one or two, because to me it's just easier sometimes than having to go hunt through my dies, find the right die, pull it out. It's like, yeah, you guys are really seeing my true laziness. Sometimes I'm just like, I'm too lazy. I don't wanna go do that. <laughs> and so I'll just fussy cut something. Um, but again, I've gotten pretty quick at it through the years. I know it's not for everyone. I wouldn't want to do this if I was making a ton of them, but if I was just making like 10 or so or eight, I wouldn't mind doing this. All right, so there is our dog's fussy cut. So I used, let me move these over. I used Garden Green. Oh, and Nat, I miss you too. So I used Garden Green for my card base. And then I chose to use, again, this is from that perfectly penciled black and white um, designer series paper. Like I said, one side is flowered. And so I chose to use the side that wasn't flowered for most of my projects tonight. This is cut five and a quarter by four. And then I have two pieces of um, 
oh, and I don't remember the size of these, but what I did is I just kind of figured this out based on what I was putting on here. So I knew I wanted to put the red on there with the green, and so they're just two coordinating pieces. I did emboss um, the, now I will tell you there also will be a tutorial option only for this class. It's not done yet. Um, like I said, this was literally designed last night, but I did texturize and emboss that with the well-worn embossing folder. So I'm just gonna adhere the red and the black together here. One's a quarter of an inch bigger than the other. And then that I did wrap some of my ribbon around it and I left the, this ribbon in the black. So let me cut that off here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of adhesive down here. And then, oh, I know one of the things I didn't tell you guys that we are doing this weekend. So. We, we didn't actually plan a big, oh, I need to put my adhesive down a little bit further. We didn't actually plan any kind of a big family vacation this year because we knew that we had Claire going to different camps and Natalie had to work full time or was working full time. And um, we, we had planned to go to concerts. So we kind of used our vacation money for concerts. So this weekend on Saturday, okay, you poor little doggy, I keep picking you up. We are going to a Billy Joel concert. Um, which is, I think it might be one of his last tours, which we are really excited about. Um, all of us are going, my girls love listening to um, the, the 80s music with us. So um, we got tickets for this, gosh, quite a while ago. And then in another couple weeks, we go to our last concert of the year, which is Elton John. So we are really stoked about that one. But anyway, one of the things that I'll be doing, I can't wait, and I'll tell you all about it. So these are just, again, a couple of the layering circles. Um, I did one with that red glimmer paper, one in the garden green, and then I'm going to adhere this down to my card. Do, 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 do. And this I kind of put up here a little bit, and then my two little doggies. So I put one little doggy on here, so we're going to, and this dog, you could also have him going up like he's sitting up if you wanted, but I had him like he was looking down, and then the other one was looking up, because so I just wanted it to be kind of cool and different. All right, so I'm going to put that there and there. And I'm just going to go over here. And then I'm going to do the other one down here like that. Same thing, whoops, using some dimensionals. And then I got glue everywhere, so I'm moving my stuff everywhere. Okay, so there and there. Also, for those of you that um, are waiting patiently, for my um, July uh, card sketch to come out. It is done and the card is done. And I meant to get it posted today. So I'll try to get it posted tonight or tomorrow. And today I actually had, for the first time, my boss pick the winning card for this uh, month. And so he thought it was fun when I called him over. I said, hey Jim, you gotta do something for me because I haven't done this and I'm late. And um, I'm gonna announce the winner because I think she's watching here tonight. Um, he picked, so there was a, first of all, I wanna say kudos. There was like eight of you that did it this month and I love it. I hope we get even more of you to do that. Um, but my I save all of your cards in a folder on my computer, show them the template and I say, you pick one. So that's what I do. Sometimes it's my mom, sometimes it's, it's my husband, sometimes it's one of my girls. Um, anyway, he did it and it is Beth Marco. So Beth, he picked your B card um, for the one that he liked um, using that template. So anyway, I'll be announcing it tomorrow as well. Um, but that is the winner of our June sketch challenge. So, all right. Um, then I'm going to do the cute little bows, okay? So you're going to see there that I did one. Oh, and I don't have a green ink pad. So they're both just going to get red bows, okay? You're going to pretend that it's green. I didn't, um, I didn't uh, <laughs> grab a green, so it's, it'll be fine. So I'm just going to stamp the little bows, both in red. And then I'm just going to punch them out with this punch. So you can see here that this punch, I'm gonna start with this one over here. I'm hoping I didn't put them too close together that I'm gonna ruin them both. No, I'll start with this one. Punches right out. And then you're gonna come up here and we're gonna punch the other one out. So you can see how easy those are to punch. And I probably used the strip that was designed for my for my Merry Christmas, but I think I have enough space there. 
to still do that. So I'm just gonna add a little bow onto mine. Like I said, they're both gonna be red, but that's fine. So one right here. Saves me also having to clean off the thing. And then one right here. Oh, look how cute they are, both in red. All right, and then hopefully Merry Christmas will fit on this because that is exactly what Kim did. Um, so bringing out my red ink pad, we'll see if Merry Christmas will fit on there. I had other scraps here, but you know, of course I picked the one that needs to be for, oh, it'll fit. Although it's upside down, so we're gonna turn it this way. I just won't be able to cut a banner in it, but that's okay, doesn't matter, right? Ta-da! All right, and then that's gonna go on my card with dimensionals here as well. Do, 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 do. All right, what do you what do you uh, think of me seeing me stamp? Like I said, normally I don't do that because it's just easier, but um, for the sake of not having <laughs> being up till midnight last night, I decided to just do the stamping with you guys tonight and just cut one. Okay, so we're gonna put that up there, close enough, good enough. And then we're gonna add some of the little red rhinestones. I love these red rhinestones. They're perfect for a Valentine's Day. They're perfect for Christmas. They're perfect for so many different things. So now I'm just gonna add them there. And then I'm gonna add one up here. Since I don't have the banner cut in, I'll add one to each side of the word Mary. All right, there you have it. So cute, right? Merry Christmas. I love that one. Okay, so that is um, the only card you're going to see tonight that I did not use the punch in that. Yes, we did a little bit of fussy cutting. I need to clean up my mess so that I have space to keep going. Um, okay, so I'm going to move that card to the side. The next one that I'm going to showcase for you is this one right here. You are loved. Isn't that cute? I love it. Okay. Now, for this card, I'm going to show you how awesome um, on what I did to get that cute little dog there. I'm going to bring in my little scrap piece real quick, and I'm going to um, stamp. This is that that's, um, plaid stamp that I showed you that was in the um, stamp set. And I am going to ink this up with a black ink pad. So what I did is I stamped this, and then I punched the dog out of it. So that way the dog looks like it's colored, but it's just from this stamp, or this, um, yeah, this stamp. So I'm just going to put that on here. And I know it came up with it, and I like that it does that sometimes, because I like to make sure that it's, I push it together and get a really good stamped image then. There you have it. Let me cover up my ink pad. And then I'm gonna bring in my little dog punch. And it's the perfect size to punch out the dog. And there you have a cute little dog that you made with that set. Isn't that cool? So, so cool. And I think it paired so nicely with this paper, that perfectly penciled paper. So now we're gonna go ahead and assemble our card together. So for this one, I chose to use um, basic black for my card base. And then I have a layer of real red, five and a quarter by four. And um, that is then also texturized with the well-worn um, embossing folder. And then I'm just gonna adhere down together here. Oh, I could, yeah, cause you also get the bow out of it. So Courtney's like the little checked bow. Yeah, there's a bow here too. I'm not sure where I put it, but you could then use that for a card, a different card. Yep, you sure could, cause you have enough on it to do that. So fun. Again, Stampin' Up! just thinking, you know, all of their awesome things that they do. All right, then I have a four by three piece of that designer series paper. Again, on the back is all that flower, but on the other side, you have lots of patterns that will go perfect with this set. And then I also, whoops, I got that off centered. I'm not going to like that. Sorry, yeah, I have to pick it off. You'll see that I also colored the ribbon on this one. Now, I'm probably going to save the time, and I might just use it in the black and white because, um, again, I don't want to keep you guys past eight. Um, but I added some ribbon up there, and I did color it with the blend the same way. Well, you know what? 
I'm just, just gonna color it with the blend because it only takes 30 seconds. So you can see here, I'm just coloring this ribbon, the piece that I started from earlier. There I have it done. Um, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of adhesive to the back. And then this is just going to go right around here. You can see that it took hardly no time at all. And it does take a little bit of time for it to dry, but not too long because it's an alcohol-based marker. <coughs> oh, it sure would, Nancy. Any of those that are from the Alma, Michigan area, this is the um, for Alma College um, and Alma Highland Festival. Yes. They call themselves the Scotties. You got that right. This would be a great one. I didn't think about that. So Elma College is only probably about a half an hour south of us, where I live. Um, so I put this on with some dimensionals. I don't think I did with my original, but this one I did. And then again, <clears throat> bringing in some of the layering circles. I used layering circles since I had them out. Um, and I, again, using the same glimmer paper <clears throat> that I used on all the other projects. I layered two circles together. And then those two got put down here on the bottom with some dimensionals as well. So I'm just going to add three dimensionals to that and put that down here. And then my little Scotty dog, I also, yeah, this card's got lots of dimensionals, 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 but it's okay. I got to close out of a notification. There we go. I couldn't see comments for a minute. And that's going to go down here. And then I stamped a little red bow. So we're gonna stamp a little red bow again. Should have just stamped a few of them. I think I use it a lot. But we're gonna stamp that again using the real red ink. So I don't have to clean off my stamps. And you can see little strips work perfect for this because they slide right in here and you don't have much waste. Because you know, otherwise, if you were to punch it on a bigger piece, you'd get some waste by punching on a dog, okay? And that piece of glue, I keep hitting it and moving this. It's driving me crazy. All right, so this I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on. And then I'm going to adhere this down up here to the dog as well. Like that. And then I'm going to stamp, you are always loved on my little strip. This is just a three quarter inch strip of um, basic white cardstock. And I gotta find my you are loved, here it is. You are loved. I'm gonna leave that red ink pad open for a minute because I think I use it on more. Add a couple dimensionals onto this. And adhere that down to the top up here. Oh, I need a little piece to go through there. So I'm going to bring this in again. And my red blend, if I can find where I put it, because I just shove stuff everywhere. Where's my red blend? It's probably right in front of my, oh, here it is. Off to the side, hiding right in front of my face. I'm going to just color a little bit of this ribbon again. Just enough to kind of go through that loop and make my little tie on. And then I'm just gonna put that under here. I'm gonna tie it around and we have a card done. I did add some of those red rhinestones to it as well. I'm just gonna cut those on, so there you go. Isn't that cute? Okay. Yeah, we need to add the little um, the little red rhinestones because it just makes, I love putting it right in the center of the bow. Just kind of makes the card, I think, anyway. Hey, cute. All right, so how'd I do so far for my quick nine o'clock at night um, make, make cards for you guys and make projects? I thought I did pretty dang good. So anyway, that is card number two. All right, and like I said, I've already showcased the cute little 3D project. Um, now I'm going to change it up. I gotta find where my little snowflakes are. They might still be in my bag. 
I'll come back to that card because I don't think my little snowflakes I, I think are in my bag. So let me go to this one. We'll do this one right here. All right, look how cute that one is. So I wanted to showcase and use the, um, the little checkered one in a different way. Okay, so I didn't want it to be the same, um, uh, oh, the same, um, where I just used it for the dog. So what I did is I put the background on there and instead used the dog in a solid black. Thank you, Courtney. So, and if I can't find my, um, my little, um, uh, for one of the cards, I'll just show you the card. That might be the last one we do. All right, I do need to clean off my block. So let me do that real quick here. So cleaning that off. Let me get that cleaned off. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there we go. So for this, I used basic black for the card base and real red for my five and a quarter by four. And then I used a five by three and three fourths of the basic white. Okay, and so what I did is I used the real red and I just stamped this in the background. So I just stamped this in the background and I love how it turned out. Okay, so I'm just gonna stamp this in the background like that. And mine looks a little bit darker because it's just, you know, my color ink, I added ink to the, to the thing. Um, and then we're just going to put the dog on here. So we're just going to add the little Scotty dog using some dimensionals. And we're just going to put some dimensionals on him. And this is going to go on here like that. And then I have a little punch that I punched out. I love this chamois too. So I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on there. Look at that. And then I'm gonna add some ribbon down here. I did stamp a greeting. Let me stamp the greeting first. So I stamped May Your Days Be Merry and Bright. So I'm also going to clean that off again. All right, and I stamped that with black ink this time. May Your Days Be Merry and Bright. Or furry and bright. Sorry, furry and bright. Right underneath that. And then I'm gonna put my black and white ribbon on it down here on the bottom. Actually, this time I'm gonna adhere these two together and then do my black and white. So I'm just gonna put that on here. Oops, did I may leave this one a little too big? I might have. If I did, we're gonna improvise, because I think it's the same size. Maybe not. Yeah, it is. We're gonna improvise with it. Okay, just pretend. This is what I get for doing this late at night, right? So I'm gonna actually tear, tear this card apart and make it right. But anyway, tied my ribbon on there, <laughs> and then I put it on a card base that's black. So anyway, there's a mess up that Kim did, but you get the gist of it. There's the, the right card done with the right size. And isn't that cute? Added a couple of um, the gems right here. And voila, I have a cute card. This is actually, I think, one of my favorite ones. Just quick and simple and nothing too, too elaborate. All right, so I am going to make my next card with all of you as well. So this one is this one right here. So you're gonna see how I used the black and the little um, uh, checkered um, one to make some designer series paper. So I'm just gonna put these two, layer them together. I do need to clean my, um, I do need to clean off my little checkered thing. Isn't that cute? So my last card, like I said, I may not be able to do all of the stamping with you because I can't find um, the snowflakes that go with this. I thought I'd put them on um, blocks, but I didn't. So that's what I used to have me scurrying looking for or probably heard me scurrying looking for. Okay, so these two outer panels right here are stamped using this with the black. 
And so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp them both at the same time. So I'm gonna put them together and I'm gonna stamp on top of these two like this. I'm off a little bit, but you get the gist. Once you get flustered because you can't find something, it just kind of throws you off. Do you guys ever feel that way? Yeah, I kind of feel that way right now. All right, and then I'm going to actually turn these to try to line them up a little bit better. And I would normally have these closer to me. Like, I'm a closer person, but I got to have them further away from my camera. So that is part of why you guys are going to probably going to see the seam and everything, but it's fine. You just kind of line them up the best you can and the ribbon's going to go over it and you're going to cover that up anyway. So see, there's a little tip to that. All right. So, but that's what you can do with that as well as to make your own kind of like your own designer series paper. So for this card, so yeah, we're not going to be able to stamp the little snowflakes around the outer edge. That is the stamp that I cannot find right now. Um, and it is this one right here. So it is in the stamp set. So we're just going to kind of proceed and pretend that we have it so i used um real red for this one for the card base and then what i did on my five and a quarter by four piece is i inked around the edges of all of that with just the red so using red ink and that little um that little um, um snowflake so you're just going to pretend that it's there okay and hear that down and then on my little piece of black that i have here i have the two outer ones that are going to go on and like i said i would have taken more time and done these a little bit better but in lieu of time because it is 751 i was in a hurry to get these done and we're going to just tie the ribbon around where those two meet so i'm going to put this one on the outside and then i'm going to put this one on the other side like that and then the red glimmer strip is going to go right here in the middle cute right you guys get the concept of it at least and I should have gone up a little higher on the stamping but it's fine all right so where that meets we're gonna hide it with some ribbon the joy of ribbon so see my ribbon is gonna go right down there we're gonna cover that up so I'm just gonna cut a strip big enough to go on the two sides here thank you shireen so i'm going to cover that up all right and then this will go on to my card that i've created using some dimensionals on the four corners so i'm just going to put one there and one there and here and here And then this will get put down in the middle. And I think it's still going to look fine without the red around the outer edges. But I was just trying to make it look a little bit more spiffy. My ribbon's a little crooked, so I need to fix that, though. There we go. Okay. And then from there, I use the deckled labels. I will, Shelby. I, I guarantee you I'll find it because that's the first thing I'm going to go look for. It's here. I used it. It's just I can't find it. Um, I used the deckled um, square or no deckled rectangles um, that I, I for this um, shape right here. And I stamped using the real red. May your days be furry and bright. And so I think I need to clean that off as well because I used it last in my black ink. So the last card I'm just going to show you guys. I knew I probably wouldn't have time um, being that I was um, stamping everything with you as we were going along tonight. So because um, the last one is the only one that's not part of um, the same color scheme. It's completely different. And then this is just going to go on the bottom down here using some dimensionals. I do have a bigger mess in front of me tonight since I am doing all of the stamping. Making sure I don't accidentally have it on the back of one of my stamps I've been using, but I don't see it. And that's going to go down there. And then for this one, I actually created a bow to put right in the middle. So I'm just going to make a bow using the black and white ribbon. So I'm just going to tie a bow. Trim off the tails. And then I'm going to use my glue dots. And I'm going to adhere. 
here the bow right here like that and then the final thing I did was I stamped the dog the Scotty dog using black ink and punching him out so same thing I'm just going to bring in my do, do, do. where's my Scotty dog that goes with <laughs> he's here I wonder if he's hiding on the same block with the other one might be oh I didn't put that one on a block haha <laughs> all right well then now I feel better about that is that one's not missing all right so let me just trade this out so this is the dog that goes with the punch. So I just had to put him on my block. So I'm just gonna ink this up with the black ink. I'm sure it's somewhere. I don't know, I'll, you know I'll find it. Oops, I gotta ink that better. Not paying attention, looking at comments. All right, there we go. I think that'll be, I think that'll be good. I'm gonna make it be good enough. How's that? So there's that. And then we are going to punch this out with, now the other thing that I'm going to show you, so you can see there I punched out the dog and I have the little bow, but the little bow is not stamped on. If you feel you are talented enough, you could try, which I can do this usually pretty good if I have the stuff closer to me, but I'm going to try without it. Um, you can, I'm going to actually stand up, you can line this up, <laughs> and you can stamp the bow just like that. I did it, I did it, I did it. Okay, so again, depending on if you, especially with the see-through, the, the photopolymer ones, you can do that a little bit better. I couldn't do that if it was the, the red rubber, trust me. But those, so again, if you have extra of those, you can always punch them and then do it that way as well if you wanted to do the dog. So that's just another little tip there. And I need my dimensionals, here we go. So I'm going to put the little Scotty dog on with a couple dimensionals. Such a cute bundle, you guys. I love it. And I'm not a big dog person. Um, we don't have a dog. We have cats, and we have hedgehogs, and we have chickens, and right now we have pigs for our county fair. So um, I'm not a big dog person, but th these are cute cards. I really like them. And then I um, topped it off with one of the red rhinestones right here in the center. All right, so I'm just going to show you the last... Um, card because like I said I, I don't have um, enough time I don't think to make it and then I'm going to showcase all of them for you again so you can see everything hi Carol it's okay you can always go back and watch the replay too so my last card that I was going to make with you all tonight is this one right here so this one you can see I did not do the red and the the um, black themed I chose to use some leftover paper that I had from our in color six by six in color um, paper stack. I did the same thing though, the dog is still black and red, incorporated the ribbon under there. So to do that ribbon, if, you're, if you've never ever done ribbon like that, I literally just cut it at an angle and then I just kind of tie it, put it over like this. You can put a glue dot in there if you want to hold it together. And then this just went underneath the banner. It just adds a little bit of a more, a little bit of ribbon to it to give it a little bit more pizzazz. Um, but I stamped those um, cute little um, snowflakes that I can't find using the Orchid Oasis ink and then just added a strip of that paper um, and made this cute little card. So anyway, any of you that are interested in receiving three of these handmade projects already done for you, um, all you need to do is simply put in a minimum $30 order from now through Sunday on my website, kimsbasementbunch.com. Um, on this host code. I'm gonna bring all the cards back in tonight that we made so that you can see all of them. Um, thank you, Janie. And like I said, this was the first time that I did not have all of these cards already created um, well in advance. Um, these were a last night creation. Um, but I think they turned out pretty cute. And then the first project that I showcased was the awesome little um, little bag as well. Isn't that cute? So cute. So anyway, I will be providing directions for this um, cute little bag as well. So this is the one that I had as the sample already all done up and tied up. 
um, but you could also leave it open if you wanted to um, and um, just use it as an open little bag as well. So anyway, thank you all so very much for joining me. And like I said, I hope that you've enjoyed my product, my projects. Um, this will be a class as well. So if you're thinking, okay, instead of um, putting in the online order to get three of the finished projects, I want to wait for the class. It will be um, available probably not for about another three or four weeks. This is a class that I'm actually, I think, um, offering the end of July, beginning of August. Um, and there will be an option for you to be able to purchase the stamp set and the punch if you don't already have it um, as part of the class fee. You'll also get a whole bolt of ribbon and a whole pack of these and all kinds of cute things. So anyway, thank you all so very much for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you liked my, my projects and um, hope that you consider getting this bundle. I think it was, I had a lot more fun with it than I thought I was going to have and um, really, really enjoyed um, sharing it with you tonight. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you all back here. I love all the hearts. You guys are awesome. I will see all of you back here next week. Bye.